Hi, and uh, welcome to part three of our deep learning uh, series on uh, building footprint segmentation. In this uh, final tutorial, we are going to see our unit model in action. So we are going to run predictions on the full uh, area of uh, auto photo image. We are going to calculate the evaluation matrix, export uh, the predicted uh, buildings as polygons, and uh, apply a regularization uh, in order to show uh, a clean and uh, a nice looking uh, uh, building outline right so uh, so first uh, we begin by uh, loading the best performing model from the training stage so after training uh, with early stopping we load the the best uh, model version of the unit model so uh, this is uh, based on the lowest validation loss so in in this uh, step uh, the model parameters they, they are stored uh, uh, from this uh, file uh, the best uh, unit uh, model path and uh, we can load them uh, using uh, this uh, uh, model a uh, load state uh, dig so which contains uh, the dictionary of the model right next uh, we are going to apply uh, the model uh, in order uh, to uh, so we are going to apply the model to the to the full auto photo uh, image so we are going to use uh, the uh, uh, patched based uh, predictions so that uh, we apply all this to the uh, to the final uh, to the final image right so this is uh, going to uh, uh, loop through the uh, image and then it stitches the predicted patches uh, uh, into a complete uh, mask so what we are going to have here is a, is a full uh, mask uh, of uh, uh, from the different uh, patches and then uh, next we are going to evaluate uh, uh, the model uh, using uh, uh, various uh, evaluation metrics so here we are interested in assessing the performance of the trained uh, unit model uh, on the entire predicted uh, image mask so these uh, metrics are very important because they help us uh, uh, know how the model uh, performed uh, since we are comparing with uh, the reference uh, uh, mask that the model has not seen right so we are interested uh, in the following metrics uh, we have uh, the, uh, the intersection of a union, uh, also known as the Jacquard index, which is a matrix that uh, quantifies the overlap uh, between the predicted segmentations and uh, the reference uh, mask. And then we are also going to uh, calculate the uh, F1 score, uh, which is uh, more sensitive to class imbalance. That is, uh, it is uh, useful. Uh, in a segmentation task where the building area is much uh, smaller than the background so it can uh, tell us uh, how accurate and complete the model identifies uh, the building and then we are going to use uh, this uh, dice uh, coefficient which is just another overlap, overlap uh, metric uh, which is similar to the uh, area of an intersection metric but the reason we are using the dice coefficient is that uh, uh, it is uh, uh, kind of more forgiving to small errors. That is uh, the dice coefficient emphasizes matching the building areas uh, more than penalizing the slight uh, border errors. So it, it tends to be higher than the the uh, area, the intersection of a union uh, uh, metric. Right, and uh, we are also going to uh, uh, calculate the boundary. Uh, I owe here the boundary intersection of a union, uh, so that uh, we we see how uh, uh, the model does when it comes to uh, detecting the uh, the boundary outlines. Right, so if uh, we run this uh, this full code, we are going to. Uh, to obtain our our metrics so for the 
with the IOU score we have about uh, 85 uh, percent and then the F1 score 92 then the DES coefficient also uh, uh, 92 and uh, what is interesting here is that the boundary uh, intersection of uh, unions is quite low so around uh, 38 uh, percent so that, that shows that uh, we have uh, uh, the model's problem uh, identifying the building outlines accurately identify the building out, uh, outlines the model may be very good at uh, identifying the buildings but uh, it is doing a, a, a poor job in uh, detecting the outlines of uh, the building uh, footprint right so after that uh, we are just going to convert the predicted mask of uh, the buildings into uh, vector poly uh, vector uh, polygons and then we save them uh, as a geo uh, geojson uh, file okay and then uh, if when we do that uh, we are also going to regularize uh, this uh, uh, the vector that has been uh, converted uh, from the building mask so we want to to make sure that uh, the edges uh, of uh, the building outlines they are straight and also they maintain some uh, angles right and uh, after that we also want to visualize uh, the predictions that is uh, the actual image then uh, the predicted segments and then the reference or ground truth uh, uh, sample uh, patches and so this is an example of uh, the output that we have uh, so as we can see these are the the, uh, the actual uh, reference mask actual building mask and these are the predicted so as you can see the uh, model although it's uh, identifying the, the building it is uh, doing a bad job uh, it's just not good doing a good job actually to pick uh, the the outlines of uh, the building okay as you can see this is a, a bit problematic so I think we will need to investigate uh, why we have this uh, problem so as you can see it is uh, quite uh, difficult for the model to pick uh, uh, the edges of the buildings although the it is uh, identified the buildings very well uh, picking the edges uh, is proving uh, difficult right so just a final recap uh, in this uh, tutorial we have just uh, uh, ran a full uh, uh, image predictions uh, using the using the trend unit model then we have uh, calculated uh, the uh, evaluation matrix and uh, we've also uh, exposed uh, exported and uh, regularized these uh, uh, polygons uh, that we have uh, generated from the uh, predicted masks and uh, we also have uh, yeah, tried to uh, visualize uh, the uh, predicted uh, uh, mask and compare them to the to the reference mask so this is a, a complete end-to-end -end, uh, deep learning pipeline for uh, building segmentation uh, from uh, image uh, to a, a vector uh, data set that we, we exported in GeoJSON. So if uh, you go to your Google Drive, here you can uh, download the, <coughs> the GeoJSON file and then you can uh, uh, you can analyze it in, uh, in uh, QGIS. Right, so uh, as I said, uh, the uh, these images uh, that I'm using, uh, they uh, these are uh, proprietary data uh, from the Department of Surveyor General. So it is uh, analysis from the Department of Surveyor General. So this is not open to the public. Uh, so uh, <coughs> it is only available for those uh, uh, people who are in our IG Labs uh, uh, Premium uh, membership, so they can have access to this. Uh, uh, data set to run uh, the code and so forth but for those uh, who just want to try the code i'm going to leave uh, the the full code uh, in the 
description and uh, as I said uh, in uh, the first part of this tutorial uh, you can actually uh, download the data sets uh, from uh, Google Earth Engine very high resolution data sets from Google Earth Engine you take that data set uh, into QGIS you create your own polygons after doing that you can uh, use the same code uh, to run your predictions uh, I'm also going to leave another code uh, which uh, uses uh, existing uh, data sets uh, from other countries that you can also use to run the code but the whole idea here was uh, showing you first how to prepare the data set in QGIS and then after preparing the building polygon uh, data testing uh, data set in QGIS we import it in uh, a Google Drive and then we can access that uh, that data set that is the, the polygons and uh, the corresponding image and then we can now um, run a unit model and they do the predictions so anyways we are going to continue again uh, uh, on this uh, uh, building uh, segmentation uh, series uh, in the next uh, video uh, I'm going to use uh, uh, another model so I'm going to use a, a model called uh, deep lab uh, uh, version 3 plus and I'm going to test this and see how it performs so thank you very much uh, for watching uh, this uh, uh, tutorial series. Uh, see you in the next one.